Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Reborn. So, uh, before we continue on with the main story, I'm going to do a couple little side things here. So first off, we're back here in the Barrel Cemetery because there's uh, somebody new who's visiting a grave here. Uh, it's this Meteor Grunt. I'm, sh I'm assuming this is the one we talked to earlier. You know, the one that was like attacked by Saphira in the lake and lost their partner. I'm assuming that's the same Grunt. So uh, let's go ahead and see what they have to say. We meet again, Mark. Why have you come to a place like this? I'm sure you're not here to mourn, but I am. I've spent far too many hours here already, and now I've lost again. Look, Terra. Not that I could get, her, not that I can get her body out of the lake, but I figured she at least deserved a memory. I couldn't even find out her last name. I don't know if she had any family or friends. All of that rests at the bottom of the lake now. I swore that I would get revenge on that woman. But what good is another death? Someone somewhere must feel the same about that woman as I did for Tara. And Lissa. Who is Lissa? Twice now. Twice I've lost the girl I loved. When my wife died, I couldn't... I could think of nothing else but getting her back. Then Commander Sirius came. He told me, when Team Meteor recreated the world anew, that I could have my wife back. I was all too happy to accept. But then I was partnered with Terra, and she was always so energetic and sincere, and I fell in love with her instead. She was the light of my world. Now I'm left with darkness again. Do you think... If the world was reborn, I would see them both again. Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> of course not. It was all just a pipe dream to begin with, wasn't it? Running away from this world was just a way to just escape my guilt. Guilt for losing my wife. Guilt from not dying in Terra's place. Guilt for having felt anything for Terra after I swore my life to Lyssa. Even if I saw them again, I couldn't bear to face them. I'm resigning from Team Meteor. I've spent too long dwelling on the past already. I can't take it anymore. There's no point in trying to recreate what's already lost. If you ever need to find me, I'll be at my home in the West Peridot Ward. Interesting. But I mean, he's kind of in a tough situation. Like even, let's say Team Meteor did succeed and they were telling him the truth. What, what, what would he do? Would he bring them both back? Would he choose one over the other? Like, that's a, that's a rough situation just to deal with, dude. Damn. That's so cool that we got such deep backstory for a random grunt in Team Meteor. That's so cool, dude. Holy, okay. Well, that was one thing I wanted to do. And there's another one if we head back into the previous ward, just south of this one. So if we go down here... Yeah, there's this kid that's being attacked by freaking Venipede and a Scolipede. Ah, help me, please! Pokemon Swarm. Okay, I'm way over leveled for this. <laughs> Something I could have done a while ago. Let's just wipe them real quick. That thing outsped me and it's 18 levels below me? What the heck? And he's flinching me, dude. What the heck? You're welcome. Oh my god, you're so amazing. You took on all three of those bugs by yourself, and you totally saved me. Oh my god, thank you, thank you so much. I was on my way home, and then those gross things cornered me. But I'm sure I can make it there now. Thank you so much for saving me. Bye. 
Okay, I don't know where his home is. I, I think we get a reward for saving him, but I have no idea where his home is. Is it in this ward or is it in the ward up, up north? I don't know. I kind of want to... I feel like we should get a reward for, for helping him. I just don't know which house is his house. So I'm going to do a little bit of looking around to try to see if I can find out uh, where his house is. Honestly, it might not even be in this area because all these houses are kind of destroyed. So I wonder if it's down here in like the Paradox. I don't know. I'm going to look around and I'll see if I can find it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so again, not what I was looking for, but uh, I noticed there's actually... I don't know if this I don't know if this person was standing here this entire time, but uh, yeah, and also you can actually go in this building real, right here. So uh, yeah, I want to check this place out real quick. Yo, new around here? Do you know this... Uh, do you know about this place? Reborn's Nightclub. Just a little gig I run for some of the region's top brass. To tell you the truth, city regulations make it a little more exclusive than I'd like. If it were up to me, people could come and go. But for those already in the inner circle, inclusivity is a straight loss. Maybe someday we can change that. For now, the best way to get invited would be to do something special, like take down the whole league. Wait, what? <laughs> take down the whole league or join it. For up to me, you'd already be welcome. But them's the breaks. My break's about over. Uh, was just enjoying the air for a moment. Gotta get back to work. Or gotta get back to the tracks. DJ Arclight at your service. Remember the name. Peace. Okay. But yeah, I noticed that we can actually go in and there's a TM right here. It's TM17 Protect. Honestly, not bad. I heard the DJ of this nightclub has a mega ring. Not just one mega ring. A spare one. Think he could be convinced to part with it? Uh, put in a good word for me. No, if he's going to part with it, he's going to part with it and give it to me. What do you mean? I would love a Mega Ring. So he said if we want to join, we either have to beat the league or join the league. Which is interesting. So maybe maybe this is like post-game content. Okay. Well, uh, still, I haven't found... Uh, the kid's home to see if we get a reward for, you know, helping him. But, uh, I'll guess I'll continue my search. Okay, I think I might have found it. Let's see. Okay, I think this is it. You did it! You found my baby! I can never thank you enough. I know it's not much, but do you have any use for the or a department store sticker? Oh, I do! Just consider it a token of my, of my much deeper gratitude. And to be perfectly honest, I never wish to see this Pokemon again in my life. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got another department store sticker. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we could go check out what's in the department store, but I think we'll wait on that for later. Uh, for right now, let's go ahead and continue on with the story since we've, we're already here in the uh, in the Lapis Ward. So we go through here, and this should lead us to 7th Street. We're born city's black market. Is this an Aqua Grunt? Oh, it is. Hey, buddy. Uh, you want to go? Yes. Not a problem, bro. Down to 7th it is. Cool. Here we are. 7th Street. While we're down here, we can also continue on with the... Uh, what was that? But yeah, we can continue on with the uh, the side quest of finding the uh, you know our stolen Pokemon from all the way back from the beginning. I didn't heal up my clutch, so that's not good. Oh, Tropius. Uh... Gumshoe. Should be fine, I think. What's in here? Hello? Oh. St what? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Street trash blew in. I'll have to ask you to leave. Oh yeah? Who's gonna make me? Dude. She said street trash. That is so un not nice. Oh, 
Oh, your ghost fairy. Dang it. Should I just went for? Oh, he missed. I sh okay, I messed up again. Oh, he missed again. What the? How do you? How? How'd you miss twice in a row? How bad are you? I did not expect that thing to miss twice in a row. Dang, that sucks. One shot, please. Thank you. Could have got a little dangerous there. Oh, not... Okay, well... Oh, we survived! Even though that's four times effective. That's crazy. Gear grind. That's yeah, fine. Pity. So you were saying... Even though you won, if if you're here if you're here to steal our research, I won't allow it. I've worked too hard to bring this to life to let it go again. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? It's taken us months to get this far. And even now, all we have here is the main body, control system, and framework. Do you know what it is? No? Then, could it be that you're not here to steal it after all? Perhaps you could be a blessing for us. Of course, he's still not complete. There's much more we have to do to bring him to life. You see, we've had some setbacks in development, and as a result, our funding has really run dry. I'll do anything I can to finish him, but if we can't get the right parts, then we're at an impasse. All we need now is the organic components that bring, that bring him to life. Say, you're clearly a competent trainer. Would you be willing us to help? Would you be willing to help us finish my baby? I don't even know what it is, but sure. Ah, lucky. I knew you'd understand. Very well. I think the tasks the tasks I have for you will be perfectly in line with your skill set. Firstly, I'd like you to find a Carvana and give it to me. Any will do. I'll take it from there. Okay, I can do that. Ooh, synthetic seed. Nice. I want to know what this is, though. Successfully calibrated bolt. Oh, I get it. This is a. Uh... Is this type null? I feel like she's trying to create a Pokemon. I feel like it's type null, right? I don't know what else it could be. Successfully calibrated multi attack to 120 base power for future per future project specifications. Interesting. Okay, well, uh. I guess we'll bring a Carvana whenever we have time. Don't even know where I would find a Carvana. Greetings, greetings, young trainer. We haven't met before, yes? Yes, quite. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am a Pokemon psychologist, a rare line of work, and questionable morality, but... <laughs> Nonetheless, it is my goal to help each Pokemon be the best it can be. And further, I offer my services at the very, very low cost of two heart scales. Now, now, no need to ask why an esteemed doctor such as myself works so cheaply. And down here. <laughs> Call it a charity. At any rate, my therapy can go as far as to alter the very nature of your... Oh, nature changer. Yes, this is what I wanted. Um... Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to take the time to change all of their natures to good natures, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, we're good. Let's uh, move out. Is there anything in here I can look at? Ooh. Oh, it just tells you about the natures here. Oh, that's convenient. All right, cool. Wait, what? But who am I talking to? Uh, you ought to be ashamed of your scruffy, rumped self. Don't call me again unless you have something worth my time. Oh. Oh, it's Crodbury. Oh, it's you. I should have known I'd see a low-life scum like you lollygagging around down here. Don't look at me, criminal swine. You aren't worth my breath. Driveling mucus with every step. Bah. 
Quite the mouth that one has, doesn't she? Perhaps, unfortunately, the street savvy aren't the only ones with influence down here. There's always people like Crodbury. She pretends to be such an upstanding citizen, but she just plays the streets down here with her wealth. You recall the Pokemon we stole from her, yes? That was one she purchased illegally down here. That's why I had no regrets in, take in targeting her. Nonetheless, her attitude is insufferable, yet no one down here stands up to her. After all, they dare not risk her patronage. I'm thinking though, perhaps we might we might better everyone's lives down here if we, how do you say, teach her a lesson. If you're interested, find me at her house. Or around her house. Okay, cool. Interesting. Three purple shards. Yes. Yes. I'm just going to take them all, honestly. I don't want to nickname it. I'm just going to buy as many as I can now, and then we'll go uh, get more shards if we need more. we had enough shards to take them all. Looks like I'm sold out for now. I'll be sure and get a new stock in one way or another. Hmm. Super rare and powerful Pokemon. Is it my super rare and powerful Pokemon that was stolen from me multiple times? A rare and powerful Pokemon? Don't mind if I do. Fwa! What the heck? Voila! I am Corin Rogue, the Dashing Rogue. As a man ever in pursuit of the finest Pokemon, it would hardly do do to let us such a prize slip past right under my nose as such. Corin Rogue stole the Pokemon. Oh, lovely. And now, my getaway. May we meet again never. Dude. Well, shucks. By the way, we have a no refund policy, so that's rough. Who knows? Maybe you'll see him again someday. But I have a feeling a man like that can stay hidden for as long as the city and police are in disarray. Alright, well, I guess the search continues. Oh, it's Ark. Yo, Mark. You remember me from the nightclub. Look, I've been keeping my eye on this place for a while. There's something fishy about it, you know? You don't say. <laughs> Something fishy about this place? No, of course not. And I've seen you buy from this guy a few times, yeah? But you don't seem like his typical customer to me. I'm pretty sure that these Pokemon he's selling are stolen, and I ain't about that. Most of his customers don't care a thing about po don't care a thing about Pokemon. They usually end up abusing them. If these Pokemon really are stolen, it might not be practical or it might not be practical to find their original owners, but I figured at least we can get them a good place. And I'm thinking you might be that good place. So I'll tell you what, Mark. I'm going to leave it up to you to buy up the rest of these guys. He won't sell to me. I've raised hell in here. I've raised hell here in the past. I've already bought them all. I, don't, I mean, I'm already ahead of you, dude. Once we've cleaned his stock, then I'll bust in and clean his clock. <laughs> Uh, make sure this guy gets shut down for good. Sound like a plan? Huh? You already did it. Not bad. I owe you one for sure. I can rest a bit easier, knowing that these Pokemon will be taken care of no matter what. It might not be a bad idea to hang on to them just in case, though. As for that guy, I won't do anything... 
I won't do anything out in the open, but let me put it this way. Next time you're around here, don't expect to see him again. Anyway, here's a little thank you for me. Lucky Egg! Nice. Do what you will with that. If you ever get into the nightclub, hit me up for sure. Will do, will do. Alright, well this guy is done. <laughs> it's game over for him. Oh, there's something in that rock. Hold on. Oh, hey, look. Free purple shard. Not bad. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait, that's, uh... Wait. Wait. That's, uh... I forgot his name already. It was like... Was it like... It wasn't like Baxter or something, was it? Wait. Hold on, come back here. This guy is 100%... Oh, God. I knew this was gonna happen, dude. I knew L was gonna do something to him. And look, look, look at, look at him. Look at him. It's Bennett, okay. <laughs> for some reason I was thinking Dexter, but with the B for Bexter or Baxter, but it was Bennett. I had a feeling you were following me. But of all people, I never expected to see you down here, Mark. Then again, I suppose this isn't the sort of place someone like me would choose to be either. I was asked to go get some supplies for a certain procedure so it couldn't be helped. Of course, they would be crossed with me if someone followed me back. But I must return post-haste, for Luna's sake. Oh, God. Oh, you're also trying to help Luna. I see. In that case, there should be no problem. The entrance to our chamber is actually hidden down here, but I'll go ahead and leave the way open for you. It's just right outside. You won't be able to miss it. What did they do to him? Oh, God. Oh, here it is. Barrel wall. Should I repel up? Hold on. Let me check this direction real quick. Oh, that just led to a, a rock. Can I break into these? No. Chewing gum? Gross. Why'd I pick that up? Oh, I have to... Okay, I'll do that later. There's an item, but I have to mine it and then blast powder and then mine it again. What the heck is going on down here? Well, this was a trap. Sorry about this, Mark. That is, Elias actually asked me to let you in here. But you actually thought I was doing something dumb, didn't you? It figures. Most people don't seem to think very highly of me. Which I suppose is typical of a person who prefers the company of bugs to that of people. Ah, please do not mistake my standoffishness, standoffishness uh, shall we say, for any personal disdain. I am, I am merely doing what is best for my future and for Luna. And you have done well, Bennett. Continue your diligence, and I will surely secure a position in the Elite Four for you. Of course. Thank you, sir. Although I originally intended it, uh, intended only to ask his help in finding Luna, Bennett has proven a surprising, a surprisingly useful assistant. Naturally, I would, I also would do anything for Luna. The ceremony you spoke of will be beneficial for her. You said. Indeed, it is necess it is a necessary step for her emotional and spiritual well-being. We will begin shortly. Until then, please see that Mark is confined safely in the dungeon. We shall deal with that annoyance later. Dude. Then Mark, if you would follow me. Not that you have much of a choice with our, with our numbers. God, man. Wait, who's that? <laughs> uh, I have a cell buddy. Hello? Sure. Is that some pages I hear turning over there? Howdy, friend. Name's Randall. How's you? You know, they keep me down here 
they kept they keep me down here a few days a few days but I don't actually mind I mean at least they're feeding us right I get better food in this cell than I did on the streets Jesus not that that's saying much but I can't really say I'm hating it uh, they're kind enough to give us educational reading too uh, don't do me no difference even if it's all a bunch of religious heebie-jeebie keeps me from getting bored and going back to the candy Ah, that ain't neither here nor there. I figure I'll just enjoy the hospital their hospitality for a few days while I detox, and then head right on out. Them guards ain't listening, right? See, truth be told, I could let myself out of here whenever I want. Want to see why? Come on out, buddy. Oh, he's a clef key. That's sick. Good work, buddy. See, clef key here just happened to pick up something what is... What is a sort of master key to this place? Mighty lucky, that one, huh? I'll just scoot on out whenever I get bored. But I imagine you is more interested in escape than me. So there you go, partner. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, if you're planning on running out, there's a couple stuffs you ought to know. Firstly, there's a muckload of people patrolling up on the floor above us. I'd recommend not trying to fight them all yourself. Probably best just to sneak past them. Oh god, it's one of those. But if you do get caught again, uh, my buddy's got your back. Secondly, personal recommendation. If you see any books lying out and about, you might want to check them out. I mean, some of these are pretty freaking funny. Arceus will save us all? <laughs> it's a Pokemon. These guys, is, these guys are nuts. It's great. Anyway, go knock yourself out. Oh god, okay, so I have to do some sneaking. This is going to be wonderful. Not the best when it comes to sneaking around. Okay, not going that way. Not going that way. Not going that way. Oh, not going that way. Wait, what? I think this entire area is a dead end. Actually, no, 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 no. I got this. Okay, we gotta stand here. And then go. Dead end. Nope. This person turns. He doesn't turn this way, though. Locked. Of course it is. Okay, that person up there turns as well. And that's blocked, so we're going this way. This one's going to be tough, I think. No! Oh my god, I almost missed that. Okay, we did it. Let's go. And we survived. Is it what's over here? Anything? No. Attention all sentries. Worship service will begin shortly. Please make your way to the sanctum at this time. Oh, do I have to fight? I guess we have to fight our way through. Yo, this battle background is kind of hurting my eyes. <laughs> it's so bright. Oh my god, that would have hurt a lot, dude. That thing went for Dragon Rush after Dragon Dancing. Sunny Day. Um, maybe. Maybe later.
That was a healing spot. Nice. The attack was cleansed. Okay, so I'm assuming dark attacks aren't that good down here. Thunder? Not with that 70 accuracy. No thanks. Do I have to touch these? Oh, there's a code. Wait, there's a code? Okay, I'm assuming we have to... Okay, so I think we do have to find books and read them, and we'll get the code from those books. That would be my guess, at least. Oh, hey, we're back up here. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Okay, so 2303 was the right code, but it was for the red one and not the, uh, not the green one. Interesting, okay. I don't know why the book was green then, but okay. Now my question is, where are the rest of the books at? Like I literally, oh, oh, here we go, found it. Oh, the, all the books are green, okay. Oh. The holy field, okay. Okay, this one, so it's 0204. This one's 0204. Okay. Here. There's not many books left, so let me just get the numbers. So this one is... 16.5 for the last one. Got it. Let's go. All right, let's heal up because we're probably gonna have a big battle up ahead. Also, nobody's holding any items. I should probably give them back items. Okay, we're ready. Oh, little hero. Oh, it's Ace again. Did you miss me? I'm afraid the nature of show business is such that my work takes me behind the scenes from time to time. But still, I was ever so impressed with your display against Radimus. He's a history, he's, he's a history with us, you see? An illusionist, much like me. And you just taking him out of the picture for just a moment was all the cue we needed. While tis true that a favor done freely deserves one in a, one in kind, I'm afraid that this is that this act is one that must go on. Boss's order and all. The family has business above, and it's and it rather requires you not to not interfere. Instead of intervention, I must insist on instigating an immediate intermission this instant. Let the curtain fall alongside you. Okay. Alakazam. Oh, God. This thing had energy ball, really? Withdrew. Oh, it's a shiny Toka Kiss. Okay, that's going to go for a fairy attack. I'm going to go into... I can't go into Rose Raid. I think it's just... Oh, man. Who can take a hit from this thing is my question. 
I'm gonna go to Delphox. I went for Air Slash. Okay, that, that, that works too. That makes sense too, I guess. Please finish. Nice. Oh, you have your own Delphox. Oh no, this is uh this is Zoroark, isn't it? This is a hundred percent Zoroark. So many fairies. Please survive. Never mind. What? Dude, how? I can't believe you survived that hit. I actually can't believe that. I might actually lose here again. Nice. This is a real Delph Fox, isn't it? Dude, I'm gonna... Dude, Ace? I don't know. Maybe it's just because my team compared... Oh, dude, Ace is a, a trainer I feel like I always have trouble with. That's crazy. I lost to Ace again. Because I lost to Ace before when we fought in the uh, in the Bybicean Wasteland. And now I lost again. That is unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you guys with a rematch. This has to be the real Delphox, right? Scrafty wants to learn Head Smash. Wait, really? Uh... Yeah, why not? Oh, I forgot the... We got the friggin' Scarf. Oh my god. This thing might go for... My guess would be Foul Play? Yeah. And then it might go for... A psychic attack? No. Why would he go for a psychic attack on my Scrafty? I don't know. I'm gonna swap back into Delphox and see if we can get off the screen. Oh, it's swapped into Porygon Z. Is Porygon Z faster than me? We're about to find out. Oh, let's go. We got the screen off. That's all I wanted was the screen. And I got frozen solid. Perfect. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I... I actually thought out turn one. I did not expect I would thought out turn one. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
We should live with the screen up. Yeah, we're good. Nice. Perhaps it is foolish to expect the third movement to sing a separate song from the first two. I don't know what that means, but sure. Oh, we survived! Let's go, Clyde, sir! Alright, we did it. I don't know why I, al I always end up losing to Ace at least once. I think every time, maybe not the first time, but I think the last, this time and the last time we fought Ace, we ended up losing the first battle. And it's because her team is so strong and fast. Like, her team's, like, like Alakazam, strong and hits hard. Delphox, pretty fast, hits hard. Porygon Z, kind of fast, hits very hard. Holy man. I think my team is just too slow. I think that's what it is. I have a lot of slow mons, like Clawitz are slow, Scrafty is slow, Ampharos is slow, like they're all pretty, they're all really slow Pokemon. But then, what am I if not a fool? Well, it's another embarrassing mishap then. Delightful. Perhaps I truly have outstayed my usefulness. They've no need for my real talents with T about. Who is T? And paltry tricks. Paltry tricks can only keep one relevant for so long. Tell me, Mark. What is family to you? Is it those with whom you share blood and status, or those with whom you share loyalty? Loyalty? What? Is a lovely lie to tell. I mean, it's not a lie, but okay. Yet what is loyalty but an illusion? It is a promise of intentions in a future which cannot be promised. Still, for some of us, we have nothing else. We cling to fantastical illusions because the truth is too empty to face. And here is a group that needed such promises. Their goals are neither ignore, ig, ig, ignoble nor righteous, but they were family, and I needed that. Please. Stop this already. Oh, it's Luna. Get your hands off of me. Ah, it appears the moment for monologuing has passed. Let us see what business our happy family is at now. Oh, God. Oh, God. I see neither steel nor charlatan can bar you from thrusting yourself into matters which need not concern you, Mark. So be it. If you are so determined, you may observe our ceremony. But you will only observe. Bennett? Oh god, where did Kane even come from? Move so much as one muscle, and I'll have my assistant put an end to your friend here. If you're gonna have me tied up, at least... <laughs> Jesus, Kane, really? In a moment like this? <laughs> at least ask for my safe word. Oh god. Even in these sacred halls... Your perversion abounds. I've heard that one before. Please stop saying things like that. I'm not taking orders from you. You're so not my type. Oh, God. <laughs> Kane is such a funny character, dude. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite characters. <laughs> what is your hair even doing? My time is better spent on studies than on perms, thank you. You could stand to find room for both. For some, presentation is everything. I don't know how I feel about you, of all people, backing me up here. Ah, still smarting about the taller of my tails, are we? As I said just moments ago, loyalty is but an illusion. We allow ourselves to be deceived when it is most convenient to us. And was it not convenient indeed for you then? It nearly led you to your own family. Had you but the heart to take a few steps further forward. It seems it is all too easy for the young to turn their back on those to whom they are bound. 
Yet what right, what right have you to do so, my child? You especially, who are raised in service of stability. Selfishness can only be abided by can only be abided by for so long. There is a legacy far greater than you or I, for you or I at stake here, and I cannot permit you to stray from it. As my master and I did once did once resent this, we eventually came to accept our role in the world. So too must you. It is a necessary movement for the sake of your moral health. For you, and for the sanctity of your faith, I shall do this. You may find that I yet have plenty of faith, but rather than in scripture or legacy, I prefer to have faith in myself. What I know, feel, and hold to be true is greater than the rules which tradition bade I follow. I would not be who I am otherwise. Who you are has led you too far astray. It is exactly for that reason that we must do this. We will now begin by correcting your... What does that word even say? Sac sacrilegious appearance with a shave of the... Hell oh my god, you're gonna do what? <laughs> it is unbecoming and anti... Anti-theth... Anti-theth... Thethical, antithetical, what? To the traditional style of the servants of the family. And I believe you have placed too much fantasy in your notions of looking a certain way. Wait, please. Oh, God. Sir, is this really necessary? You're not going to win any favor that way, that's for sure. You would speak out of line against me. On this of all things... And here I thought you understood that we were doing this for her sake. The nail that sticks out will be hammered down as like that into the cross. I don't see how she is going to be bettered by you cutting her hair. It is a vessel of her ego. Her resistance only speaks to its necessity. Let us not forget that humility is a virtue. No, this doesn't seem right. You say that only because you are a puppet to your own fantasies. You resent the change in appearance because you are yourself caught up in perceiving her a certain way. Her body exists as an instrument of her virtue. Its priority is not for your lecherous consumption. <laughs> if you truly care about her, you would understand that this is a necessary step for her to correct her spirit. The boy's motives may be in question, but I'm afraid his point still stands. Why do you think magicians always ask the audience to pick a card? It is their consent and participation that matters. What good is the end result if they never had a chance to alter it? She has had far too many chances already. She is spoiled for it. I shall not begrudge her to sins and delusions any longer. This will be done by my hand or the Lord's. I'm not so sure about that. Lights. Cameras. Drama. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yep, that's happening. Bye-bye now. Master. You will stay your hand, Elias. Oh, he was disguised. Oh, dude, this, this guy is so good. <laughs> He's so good at, dis at disguising himself. Bennett, darling, would you mind stepping away from the pretty boy? Gardevoir, uh, it's been a while. This is quite a far cry from the way you behave at my mother's place. I suppose you were there too, weren't you? I hardly noticed since I was only there for Luna. And to be honest, dear Bennett, I never liked the way you looked at her anyway. Oh, God. Nobody asked your opinion on that. And what if it makes her uncomfortable? Can you really get off... Wait, what? Can you really get off thinking like that? Oh, but perhaps you really... Do, oh, God. It's not like that. I didn't realize Bennett was a creep. <laughs> Is that how they're trying to portray him as, like, a creep? Oh, God. Mark, uh, help me rescue Luna. Everyone. 
Unhand me at once, swine. I'm afraid I can't do that. Someone has to act in Luna's defense, seeing as a certain biological father won't. So be it. If we are making shows of force, then here's one for you. I revoke your birthright, child. Elias ripped the emerald brooch from Luna's neck. Since you're clearly unwilling to live it up. There, she's free. Gracious. I believe we've no further business here, then. Gardevoir, do we have a retreat? As if I, was, I will simply allow you to leave unopposed. No, I think you will. The show is over, Elias. Whatever you hope to accomplish cannot be done by force. I won't allow you to make the matter worse for everyone by trying to do so. After everything, even you presume to defy me. And what of the family you spoke of? And what did I say about loyalty? Is this really the kind of family you want to have? Because I don't think it is. Go, little heroes. Be on your way. I will see that his hand is stayed. You don't have to tell me twice. Hang on tight, everyone. I still know what to think about Ace, dude. Like, they flip-flop so much from helping us to not helping us. You know? And that, kids, is how you storm a castle. I mean, if you can call this a castle. Gardevoir is capable of calling anything wherever she wishes, and she will readily do so without care. I'm so grateful to everyone for coming to save me. I would like to formally apologize for the inconvenience I've caused. Luna, darling, you know Master and I would never abandon you. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Gardevoir. I need to stop getting my butt captured, too. Yeah, seriously, Kane gets captured so much. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I just realized that. Holy, man. I'm never going to be the very best like no one ever was at this rate. That's all well and good, but perhaps we shouldn't chit-chat idly right on, our, right on our enemy's doorstep. Master is right. I wish to quit this place. It will not do to return to the castle at this point. At least, I will not be returning. Apologies, Kane, but we will not be able to have our battle just yet. I have other business to attend to just now. Though I do thank you for the lead from before. Gardevoir. Ta-ta, ta-ta, dears. Stay tuned for our next big entrance. Wait, what do you mean, thanks for the lead? Well, yeah, what did that mean? If he didn't tell him anything, then... Huh. So I guess they won't be answering that question, then. Master does love his mysteries, doesn't he? Perhaps it's better if he doesn't say. Hearts beat faster in the darkness. Do you know why? Because it's better with the lights off. Oh, God, Kane. <laughs> oh, my. Well, be that as it may, it wasn't quite my intention. But in a different vein... Darkness is quick to fester in one's heart. Tell me, Mark, are you afraid of the dark? Nope. Good. Please take this. Crystal key? Wait, what do I do with that? With this, you'll be able to enter Iolia Valley. As for how to find it, there is a single tree within my master's labyrinth. I know that tree. Just behind that, and you can figure out the rest, right? Okay. The darkness in Master's heart bores a hole that I cannot hope to fill alone. But I can't pretend, can I? Mark, I'll be waiting. Okay. So, I have no idea what she meant by any of that, but I'm going to get going too. Since Radimus flew the coop, I guess I'll see if I can get if I can give these those guards at a gate a bit of a wake-up call in a bit. I guess that's still on the other end of Route 1. If you're going to the labyrinth right away, uh, want to walk together until the road splits? Yeah, sure. Then we depart at once, hand in hand. Metaphorically, if nothing else. Oh, and thanks for the save again, darling prince. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, there we go, guys. Man, this was a long one. I was... Man, that was this, this is going to end up being a very long episode, but geez. Alright, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of dialogue. Anyway, it looks like now we're going to be fighting Luna for our potentially our ninth gym badge 
So that'll be interesting. Uh, I'm assuming she again is the dark type gym leader. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.